Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel, guys. Hopefully everybody's doing well watching the video. We are uh, here today, a little bit late this afternoon. I don't even know what the content was today on this game. Thursday, pretty dead, pretty slow usually. Um, and this week as a whole, man, this, this RTTK promo, I gotta say, like... <laughs> Oh, let's just not even talk about it, right? Let's just not even talk about it. So hopefully everybody's doing well. We are going to be doing a video talking about future stars. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of stuff that has come out about it. Um, it's less than 24 hours, and we're going to have a crazy stream tomorrow. The uploads are going to be going crazy. So watch out for all that, guys. I'm very excited to be kind of excited again about a promo. I Low-key, though, as bad as this week was, I think a lot of people would agree. Like, I was so – just everyone was so, like, over it from Team of the Year. Like, that was such a grind. I feel like this week, um, it was kind of slow, but a nice break for a lot of people. Um, obviously, the road to the final cards will be pretty nice to trade with uh, down the road for now. Um, the only complaint I really have is that I did feel like it was really nice that Team of the Year cards had two playstyle pluses. If EA was going to give all the promo cards in the future, or at least like half of them two playstyles, it looks like we're getting that with Future Stars. I wouldn't like to see Team of the Year even have like three, um, but I don't know. That was just my opinion. So yeah, hopefully you guys are doing well in terms of like, just going over what's going on today, um, we had, uh, I think we probably had some more, um, we have some more weekly theme person who came out yesterday, and then more weekly objectives you need to get XP. Hopefully they make that a little easier uh, starting tomorrow. I'm still a little bit, uh, I'm still a little bit behind generally, so I still have to kind of get through here and get to level 20 by the end of next week, which is not going to be the easiest, but um, I'm going to try to probably at some point get four more rivals wins, whether it's um, tomorrow or uh well nah that would have to be well oh, oh my god it's done in 11 hours no way so i'm not even gonna be able to get this damn dude there's a lot of good packs there i'm not gonna be able to get that a lot of good packs here um that's okay um but what i was gonna say to you guys is that uh team of the year champs bonus as well gonna be finished i'll have an 83 20 tomorrow i'll have a 81 11 i'm doing a little bit of a pack save for future stars nothing crazy i'm gonna save the 83 tens today and uh yeah we're gonna be talking everything future stars today so yeah let me know who you guys are looking to see in the promo, um, you know, for me, I've only seen one leak, which is Dino. I'm trying to stay as much as I can away from the leaks. I don't really think the player leaks are that important. We're going to be talking about pack codes and stuff like that. Um, it's an exciting promo. I'm going to go over a little bit in the video about stuff we had in the previous year. Um, and yeah, guys, I just want to say as well, thank you everyone for all the support and all the channels. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. The support everywhere has been really crazy. This team of the year was nuts. Um, and I do appreciate that. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. A lot of you watch and don't subscribe. And if you're watching this, follow my TikTok. In like 200 more followers or something, I can make money. Cold. I'll tell you how much I'm making. Cold. All right. So here's what we're going to do today. All the promos are done. Uh, we are ready to record the video. So we're going to be talking about kind of what EA is adding to the code and things like that. Um, first of all, first thing to kind of go over here. Future Star Academy Evolutions are a part of the Ultimate Team Future Stars promo. So we are going to have packs that contain nine players and they can be upgraded in evolutions, which is kind of interesting. So there's going to be nine players that it will be in packs. Hopefully they have a very high pack weight. That's what I'm hoping. Like they're like, um, I don't even know, dude, like an 80 gold rare. Like it's really not that hard to pack these cards. Um, I'm hoping that EA didn't go the full sellout way where they're going to make you kind of open the packs in a store to get these cards and then pay for the Evo. Hopefully that's not what they do, but it could be what they do. It's EA. We don't always know. Um, so yeah, Future Star Academy Evolutions are a part of the Ultimate Team Future Stars promo. So these are going to be in packs. You're going to have to pack these cards, I believe, to do the Evo, which is kind of interesting, but it's nice that at least... I guess you could pack a card and then upgrade it. I guess we'll have to see how this is carried out. The card design looks really, really, really nice. Um, this is the loading screen for Future Stars Academy. This is one of the best things about uh, Future Stars. Always, I need to put this uh, line down. Otherwise, my camera is going to get bombarded with sunlight. Um, so yeah, this is usually one of the best parts about Future Stars, in my opinion. Now, this is just a concept, but like in the past, in FIFA 20, we used to have... Concepts like this, basically, where, you know, you, um, this is very funny, getting subbed off, sub off 82, Future Stars Lingard in four separate rivals losses. This is like a meme, but this is kind of what it used to be. Um, star in the making, disappointing Ole, <laughs> Ole, 
Zero assists, failing to score, dap in three matches, rage discard, promoting. This is too much, man. But very funny. Um, this is what it actually used to be. It used to be brutal because Rivals was really tough. Um, and they put it in Rivals or Squad Battles, basically. So you kind of had to play a lot of offline stuff. Zaniolo, this is FIFA. I think this is FIFA 20. This is kind of the start of when we first had this. Daniel James was a really popular one. This is one that a lot of people did. I even did this one in Squad Battles very fast. Uh, very good for that meta. We had Odegaard as well. Um, a five-star skiller. I think his top-tier card had potentially, I, I think, maybe three-star. Maybe three-star skills. I can't remember. Um, we had Oziman as well. Crazy to see him at Lille. Um, he's killing it at Napoli. And it looks like he's going to make a move. Um, so that, that concept is going to be really interesting because it used to be really objective heavy and now EA are going to put it in packs and then you can do it as an Evo. We'll see. We'll see how that pans out. It has potential, but I wouldn't be surprised with if EA continued the trend of what they've been doing this year, which is they're going really hard with the sellout stuff making you pay money hopefully it's not uh that way so new pack in the store uh future stars academy attackers pack contains nine attacking options for the future stars academy attackers evolutions so this is going to be in the store um the old one was 15 now it's nine uh then it says academy defenders pack contains 11 defensive options for the future stars academy defenders evolution so i'm hoping these aren't like i'm hoping these are spc packs if they're not, if they go in the store, hopefully they're really cheap, like 10,000 coins or 100 FIFA points. It's nothing crazy. Um, I think hopefully these will be SBCs. And then, you know, basically it looks like you'll have the option to Evo who you want, which is nice. Like we'll have a video. We'll do, you know, a whole look over at who's the best attacking option. We'll probably have these up tomorrow night because it's going to be happening tomorrow. It's going to all be going down tomorrow. So this is a nice change, right? This is cool. I personally, just in terms of like my ultimate team, I, you know, really, I've done the Jota Evo. I've done a double Evo with him, and he's been fantastic. But my motivation to do evolutions recently has been really low. And I feel like a lot of other people agree with that. Um, the only other recent Evo that I've done is Kolo Muani. Um, He's like the last one I've done that I kind of used for a little. I didn't even use that much. Yorente and Jota are the only two that have really stuck with me. And even Yorente got benched now with Cafu. So, I'm looking to see, hopefully EA knows where the state of everyone's team is. I mean, we're, we're coming after team of the year. Most of the freaking teams I see, all right, are like crazy. So we're going to have to have some really good options here. Even so, if they're just on par with the players, but they're young stars and you can make them crazy, that will be enough. But they've got to live up to like the Eusebios, the Mbappes, the best. I hope EA is not really blind to what they've been doing to this game with the power curve uh we'll see how this goes so you should be able to choose between nine players 11 defensive options there's going to be probably play styles to consider play style pluses pace it's going to be a great time seeing these hopefully ea don't make this too expensive this is accessible to everyone hopefully right now other store packs uh we don't really need to go over these these are going to be the paid ones We're, i'm really on this channel not promoting these i'm not trying to open these anymore this is where it's interesting premium energizer pack right you're seeing this pack because you've ulti You've entered Ultimate Team for at least 30 days on console, right? Includes 10 gold rare players. So this is probably going to be a really cheap pack or free. I think it's going to be a 30 coin pack. You're seeing this pack because you've entered Ultimate Team for at least three days. Three, uh, three players. Ultimate Supporter Pack. You're seeing this pack because you've entered Ultimate Team for at least 30 days. Um, includes two Trailblazers, Centurions, Triple Threat, SC Pro, or Thunderstruck player items. 85 rated or higher also 185 uh rare gold now this is interesting is it gonna be crazy it's probably be really similar to the foot champs packs that we see we don't get a lot of good stuff maybe if you're really lucky you can get it this is interesting uh we'll see how this goes um this will be hopefully in this hopefully we just get this we're logging in tomorrow like hopefully ea i mean if you saw my i posted a short today i think on tiktok or youtube i don't know which one we posted on but the player base is really down right now uh, it's really down compared to previous years. So hopefully this is what EA is trying to do to get people to log on. To me, it's not the craziest <laughs> incentive, but at least it's something, right? Um, welcome to the team pack. You're seeing this pack because you've entered Ultimate Team for three days. Includes one Trailblazer, Centurion, Triple Threat, FC Pro, or Thunderstruck, 84 or higher. You also get 12 rare golds. So 50k pack with a special card. All right, that's pretty nice for three days only. So these are pretty nice. I like the look of this. This this is exciting. Hopefully we get some really nice uh, Future Star Academy options. I'm really looking forward to that. 
And, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Hopefully, this is crazy. Um, and you know what? If it's not, at least I'm seeing free stuff or cheap stuff. And I'm just really sitting here recording this video, praying that EA don't mess up the, uh, you know, the um, Academy stuff because it's been free in the past to do with the objectives. So, I don't want to see EA change that into something that's paid. I think that would be a huge l for them future stars also guys um you have probably seen it by now but we're gonna have icons which is crazy so it you know it doesn't really make sense like future stars icons now i posted like a reply tweet to one of the leaks about it a week ago and i was like talking about how like maybe they were gonna do like baby icons like we had trophy titans last year we had baby del p i was like maybe they're gonna do like baby gerard i was trying to think you know, at who hadn't had one. It looks like they're not going to be baby cards, though, because I did see the leak for Dino, and he looks crazy, and he's higher rated than the Thunder card. And the Thunder card on the game right now is, you know, obviously trending, and he's down like a million coins. So I don't know. I was kind of looking forward to, like, maybe EA putting out some crazy icons, um, like, as they were at the start of their career and, like, maybe lower rated but still really solid. Um, like, for Dino, for example, like, a 91 Dino or a 90 Dino, like, to me, I would still use that card. I think a lot of people with these top-tier cards would still use them. Uh, and, you know, even, like, in the past, they've done the flashback Messi, the flashback Ronaldo. These have been really popular cards. It's a little late in the year, but if they were to give them less stats and then, like, a 5-5 five, five or something, that's where you have some interest. And it makes sense for that to be a future star's icon. You know, like, the whole concept of future star's icon doesn't really make that much sense but it's ea they have to sell the packs and to be honest if we're getting more icons i'm probably not going to complain um and then this is the future stars evolution card which looks absolutely crazy so yeah this was future stars last year um honestly it, it was a little bit better than the previous year we had gavi who was a, definitely an expensive card alvarez like last year's cards were really really expensive alvarez was 1.3 mudrick was in this promo he was really expensive one mil uh adiemi was not cheap uh vitinha was a couple hundred thousand guardiola was a couple hundred thousand then we obviously had some fodder in there no surprises there did we have a team two last year i can't even remember we did have a team two we had keva aradona musiala very expensive card last year uh enzo Cool to kind of see some of the players even uh, already doing so well since they had their future star card last year. Adalho, um, I even tweeted out today uh, the future stars from FIFA 19, which is just crazy to see uh, what's happened to all those players. But yeah, over the years, like I thought last year was definitely a little bit better than 22. 22's future stars was just not super electric. These cards were not the craziest. There was a lot of fodder. I mean, Jude was really good. Chuameni was really good, but this team definitely had a lot more fodder than previous years. Uh, we had this, like, interesting thing. Was, this, was it this year where they did, like, two versions? They did, like, a mini release in FIFA 22 where they did, like, two different versions of a couple cards. So, we can really expect anything and everything with this promo tomorrow. Um, it's going to be very interesting. I mean, obviously, a lot of the leaks are already kind of out and about, and people know what's going to happen, but this is one of the marquee promos every year. We start off with the release of FIFA. We go to Black Friday. We go to Team of the Year. I would say Future Stars, uh, Foot Miss in the kind of winter, that type of promo. So now it's winter wild cards. Um, and then Foot Birthday and Team of the Season. Now we've kind of got this hype with the end of the year with the 85 tents. But that's the marquee parts of FIFA to me as a yearly player. So this is something to look forward to. Hopefully EA do it right. Hopefully we get what we deserve. Hopefully it's good. I'm liking what I'm seeing from the stuff they've already added into the store. Um, I'm just hoping that, look, at the end of the day, the pack weight is a little bit better um, because, oh my God, was the pack weight just absolutely atrocious this week um, with the road to the knockout. So I'm a little worried about that because I'm like, I feel like EA is not going to make the pack weight too much better uh, than the RTTK pack weight. So We'll see. Uh, time will tell. Team of the Weeks have already gone up a lot, so I really missed the boat on investing in that. If you guys have been watching the account um, in terms of investments and kind of what I've done, I did kind of sell. I bought some Team of the Year honorable mentions, and I just didn't end up making a lot of coins on them. I pretty much broke even on tax, which was a little disappointing. I expected to definitely do a little bit better on my investments, but it is what it is. I'm trying to get liquid for tomorrow. I think that there's going to be some definitely... Um, interesting cards to try out that i might want to use for weekend league i've got to try to figure out here how to use uh if i can get an 85 into this team just to get this one done um so yeah i mean to be honest in terms of how i'm prepping i'm trying to get uh liquid a little bit here i'm gonna make this 83 10 i'll do the other two tomorrow uh, i've got division rivals rewards and i want to just talk a little bit about uh the rttk at the end of this 
uh, at the end of this uh, kind of part of this video. I need to claim these, or should I just leave these and claim them tomorrow? I don't think I have player picks, which is good. I sweated and got seven wins so I could get this 84-10. Um, is it going to be worth it? Hopefully. Hopefully it is worth it. Um, we also get some XP, which is nice. To be fair, 245k packs and 225k packs is ni nice. I will uh, make the push for the Elite Division uh, the following week. Uh, we already, I think we just hit the checkpoint, which is nice, did we? Yeah, so we can make this push next week. Um, EA, I, if you guys watch, EA employees watch this video, can you guys, like, really add some incentive for us to do the milestones? I don't know how this is still TIFOs. Like, I always joke about it, but, like, come on, guys, let's go. Um, what's so challenging to change there? Um, I, I really don't know. So, uh, in terms of the transfer list, we have one sale here, which is Kane. I'm still invested in these trends. Kane, stuff like that. It's just break even. It's not bad. It's not good. Um, I've packed a couple informs over the last couple days. I think I bought one inform for like 17. And what's he up to? Like 25. So a little bit of profit there. Nothing too crazy. Look at my expired and look how much the market has gone up. I was looking at Mbappe that didn't sell for 5 mil. And now he's 6 mil with three cards on the market. Crazy how much post team of the year rise uh, has really impacted a lot of these cards. So let's just talk a little bit about RTTK to just end this video. Um, just real quick. Because there's definitely some cards and packs. Uh, we had the little marquee matchups today, which some, uh, you know, some supply. I just personally don't love a lot of the top tier cards. There's so many really expensive cards. Ansu Fati, Leao, right? Like, Leao at 3-8, man. Like, I'm just worried about these cards, like, to invest in. I think they're a little too crazy. Darwin at 1-5. Tony Cruz is 2.7. Um, just so much of this promo. And to be honest, the weight on these cards is so bad. A lot of them are up like six, seven, eight K today. So for me as an investor, when I'm taking a look at this team, I really only liked like Tella. I think he's nice because Leverkusen are just cooking this year. Um, you know, you could go cheap, but it's just it's one of those where, you know, there might be a little bit of an initial rise. Look, these cards are live cards. They will probably go way higher than they are right now. But I think you guys could probably hold off a little bit and potentially invest a little bit into future stars. Um, but there is a there is a lot in this promo I like. I'm, I'm I'm a little interested in Lucy Bronze, but I just don't know if I have the budget uh, to invest here. She went up to 327, was 317, and now it's back up a little bit. But yeah, it's just it's just one of those where investing in this team right now with these prices will they probably go a little higher? Yes. Would I stay away from the really expensive cards? Yes. But I could totally see you know uh, like Ryton and some of these cards. You know Ryton was wow 350. I could totally see some of these cards going up. Um, you know long term. So we'll check back in with those in the uh, in the in the next few days. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Getting excited for future stars, and uh, we'll see you guys there tomorrow for the new promo. Peace.